Revelator John. Hello, welcome to Revelator John again. Um, just um, Saturday night, just working on uh, some things for tomorrow. Got a Reading uh, toy run to do, uh, so it's um, um, it's just a bike run uh, to deliver uh, toy presents uh, to Dr. Bernardo's. Uh, so a few thousand bikes expected, especially if the weather holds out. Not forecast to be great in all fairness, um, but just a an opportunity uh, tonight really happy um, because uh, football this afternoon um, West Ham beat Chelsea 1-0 at London Stadium at home um, but it was just a fantastic fantastic display from uh, all the players every single one uh, you know wore their heart on the sleeve um, you know played for the shirt played for the fans played for themselves you know and, and this is the kind of performance that we've been waiting for all season want, wanting to see all season and they, they finally delivered it they kind of showed it last last week we were unlucky not to get a draw against man city we had a you know a better performance against leicester a couple of weeks ago um but today was just brilliant absolutely brilliant you know um fantastic in defense fantastic holding midfield you know spoiling the play breaking it up yeah we rode a luck uh, quite a lot and we had to have a few tactical fouls there you know to stop them but you know and you know running down the clock a little bit it's all part of the game really um you know we're defending a one nil lead fantastic strike by Anatovic. first half especially he played fantastically wore himself out a little bit in the, in the second half he was pulled off uh, Antonio, great in the in the first half as well. You know, a bit of a bull, you know. But um, I think you know he started to wear himself out, and I think he should have been pulled off a lot earlier than he actually was. Masuaku on the left, again, great, great, great um, um, determination to just get forward, bomb forward. And I think that's the story of the day. We we were resolute in defence. We set up at the back and midfield to you know break up the play and hit them on the counter attack and i think you know we were really good on the counter attack um and we could have had you know and we had another three or four chances so we could have scored a, a couple more and i think that's the way and i've been saying this for weeks and i was actually saying it last year as well that you know we need to play like this now we against every team you know we can't go gung-ho we can't be you know, just trying to bomb forward all the time. We need to play to a system. We need to play, you know, be really organised. And we need to, you know, be fast and fluid on the counter-attack. More slick with our passing. More slick with, you know, the crosses. Um, better on the set plays and everything. And, you know, I think, you know, we've been seeing it over the last few weeks. We've been seeing... Um, you know, since Moyes has come in, this is credit to Moyes and to Stuart Pearce and the rest of the coaching staff that they have, you know, worked on the fitness, have worked on the uh, on the setup, you know, the tactical uh, play, the formations, and it is starting to, you know, make it make um, inroads really. So that's great. That's great for us as fans. That's great for the club, and obviously, you know, we just need to show it now against Arsenal. We need to show it against. Any other team that we that we face now for the rest of the season, you know, because whether we're playing Arsenal, Man United, Man City, or is it Stoke, Brighton, whatever, you know, we've got to attack every match in the same way, and we're going to be tactically astute enough to know what our limitations are. We've got to be able to shut up shop at the back, and we've got to build on from there. Yeah, we have the firepower up front. We got great attackers up front, you know, when they're on their game and when they're performing well to be able to, you know, score some goals. And if we just introduce a bit more pace and a bit more creativity in midfield, we could even, you know, be we wouldn't have to worry about being so defensive, you know, we could be more offensive as well. The problem we're facing now, and I can already see it as an early sign, is that although we're We've really worked on our defence and our defensive midfield. We're, we're tending to do is that when we're on the counter attack and when we do have the ball, we're not tending to retain possession going forward. And a part of that is, you know, because we're facing Man City and the Chelsea's and we'll be facing the Arsenal's, so they're great going forward. 
but we're we're, um, we're we're not so much inviting them to come on on to us, but um, that's what's happening. You know, we're kind of losing the ball a little bit, and then it, you know it's coming back straight back at us. You know, the stats today show that our um, Chelsea had about seventy percent possession against our thirty, so that kind of tells you everything. It was backs against the wall stuff. We rode our luck a little bit. Yeah, Adrian had a couple of saves to to make. You know, he, he claimed a couple of crosses. Um, he he dropped a couple of crosses, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt in that. You know, he was bumped a couple of times as well. Um, so overall, he did well. You know, he came out, cleared his lines, you know, uh, really well. So from the back all the way going forward, I think we did really great. And Altovic, you know, fantastic. Masuaka, fantastic. And I've got to say, a big, big, big um, salute, if you like, to um, Noble. Noble in the centre of the park because he... He came in and he hasn't let the fact that he's been dropped the last few games affect him. He's come in and he's been the leader. And you could tell the way he was trying to organise people, all the rest of the players, and you know push them on and everything, directing the play. He was the one. You know, him and Obiang in the centre. And Obiang, you know, I've been slating Obiang for weeks now. But he had a great game. So, you know, every player on that pitch had a great game. So, looking forward now, you know, we've got to... Um, go into every game with the same kind of mentality, the same kind of setup, and the same kind of desire at the back, you know, from, you know, whether it's Rice that comes in, but, you know, um, Reed, Ogbonna, Creswell, fantastic game in the centre as well, you know, with, um, you know, Zabaleta and Masawaku, you know, coming come in, you know, tracking back as well. You know, that kind of setup, we need to, you know, go into all the other games. You know, regardless of who who we're playing, and um, and have that sort of drive and passion and determination, and you know, and if we get a result against Arsenal, whether it's a draw, whether it's a win, then you know we can't start set, sitting on our laurels there. We've got to go on to the next match, you know, that you know where it's um, Stoke or whether it's Newcastle or going into the New Year for West Brom and Tottenham, and you know we've got two cup ties, you know. You know Arsenal again in the league in the league uh, Cup or the FA Cup, whatever you call it, and um, you know Shrewsbury in the in the FA Cup. Early. You know, so we need to have that consistent pressure and consistent determination, and I think we can do it. I've always said any team can beat any other team where they've got the right tactical approach. Where, you know, if they've got a bit of luck, yeah with the right tactical approach, if they set up brilliantly in defence, and if they spoil the game, especially if they're playing against a, a, a better team. So, pretty much all this season, we've been playing better teams because we have been so... our performance has been so poor. Now our performance is starting to come up and we're finding a tactical way to be able to beat these other teams. Okay, We can't change that method until we've actually developed further. Okay, so our players so Moyes and the staff, they've they've started to work on our passing game and our forward attacking game, you know, our our, our um you know pass and moving game, you know, looking for the early openings. You could see today that even though some of our passing was slick and we were starting to, you know, touch one touch football and everything and early passes, we were still in certain circumstances we were a little bit slow in that final ball. Or passing that fine ball, so that has to be a little bit slicker, and especially when you're counter attacking. You want to be fast, you want to be, you know, um, slick, and you want to, you know, get that ball. Like you could see what they were trying to do get the ball early to Anatovic. Antonio was, but it was just a little bit too late, you know, and Sacco as well, you know, in the, in the second half. You know, just need to, um, you know, hit that ball early to the strikers and let's see if they can get a goal or two. And I think, you know, I think we can do it. I think we can do it against Arsenal. I've been saying, you know, I thought we could do it against Man City. It's very positive. People were slating me. Um, I was saying against Chelsea. I said, yeah, we could definitely beat them. You know, really positive. And now I'm really positive against Arsenal. And I think we've got to have that attitude. As fans, we've got to have that attitude. As players, we've got to have that attitude. You know, the whole club, we've got to be positive. Okay? We've got to be strong at the back. Strong in midfield, creative, fast, flowing football, you know, up front uh, to our attackers. Great on the crosses, great in the set plays. And that's what we've got. And then we've got to build on those strengths. Get the foundation right, and get the building blocks on from there.
and we can recover the season. You know, we can, but we're still in a fight. Let's not make no bones about it. We're still in a fight, and we will be pulled right back into a fight, even if we get out of it, if we start to get complacent again. So long season ahead, but really, really great day. Great day to be a West Ham fan. Not a great day to be a Chelsea fan. <laughs> okay. But, uh, you know, especially where I live, I'm sort of surrounded by Chelsea fans, so it's a, it's a good day. It's a good day. Come on, you guys. Up the hammers.